Today we're going to be making these shorts. These shorts do not have a center front seam or a gusset, but are super supportive and fuller in coverage. The first thing you want to do is print your paper patterns out. Make sure you're printing at 100% or do not scale and double check that the test square measurements match before joining the pieces together. Where there are half hearts, the pattern pieces are joined to make the full pattern. And then you can cut it out in your preferred size. The pattern file is layered so you can actually isolate the size that you want and you don't have to print it all like I'm doing here. And then you can cut it out in fabric. This pattern was drafted using 4-way stretch fabric that is 80% nylon, 20% spandex at 200 grams. Anything too different from this may require you to adjust accordingly by sizing up or sizing down. I'm in the process of creating a series of videos that will go into a little more detail about the frequently asked questions, so do comment any conundrums you might have so I can include it in this video. Now that you've cut everything out, we can start piecing it together. We're going to start by prepping our waistband by joining the two pieces on the centre back. So matching right sides together, I'm using an overlock here but feel free to use a zigzag stitch if that's what you have available and then we can join the pieces. When that's done, we're going to match the right sides together of these two waistbands and we're going to overlock the top edge not forgetting to add elastic. You want to make sure that the elastic is between 1-5% to smaller than the actual measurements to ensure it fits snug around the waist and you don't have that weird gappage that you sometimes get on the back. You know what I'm talking about. And also, I try to make the seams lie flat as possible, so I usually push the seam allowances in opposite directions when I can. When that's done and prepped, we're going to put it aside and work on the other bits now. So for both the self and the lining, we're going to match the centre back seams together, right sides together and overlock it. When that's done, we're going to take the front and the backs and match it right sides together and stitch it at the crotch and at the side seams with an overlock or a zigzag. So here is the finicky bit. We're going to be sandwiching the waistband in between the self and the lining. So we're going to do this first by taking the waistband and matching it to the centre front and centre back seams of the self. The waistband is intentionally smaller so you're going to have to ease it in. And if you want, you can do a couple of stay stitches all around to keep it from moving. And this is really useful if you're new to sewing many layers. Now that's done, we're going to match the lining right sides together to where the band is, again matching the notches on the centre front and centre back. And once again, to make the seams lie flat, you have the seam allowance pushed to the opposite directions before you overlock it. And don't forget to add elastic to this seam as well, following the same formula that you used earlier. Now we can turn it right sides out and match the self and the lining on the bottom hem before we overlock it, add elastic, fold it in and do a top stitch using either a cover lock or what I did here, a simple zigzag. And you are done. These are my favorite bottoms for outdoor sports and also for pole fitness. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!